Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome one more time to DeFi Daily. Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a very interesting strategy. In this case, it's a strategy with stable coins, and it's one of my favorite strategies because we're going to be using UST and we can earn almost 40% APY by doing a very interesting loop with Anchor Protocol, which is an amazing project in the Terra ecosystem. And we're going to be using also Planet, which is a project in the Binance network that has integrated AUST and UST. The project has been out since last year, but they've been implementing amazing functionalities in their borrow and lending market. And if you're enjoying this type of videos where I show you my personal strategy, how I invest and obtain the highest APRs and APYs, make sure you subscribe to DeFi Daily, smash the like button and also hit the notification bell so that you can get a notification every time we upload a new video. Said so these guys, let's go directly into the video. As mentioned before, we're going to be starting the strategy using Anchor Protocol. This is going to be critical for our strategy today. A very, very complete project in the Terra ecosystem where you can earn up to 20% APY in your stable coins. I have about $2,000 here invested, which are making me almost $400 in profit every year, which is very good on a stable coin profit. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how we can boost this APY using Planet with a loop strategy that is very, very, very interesting. And for all of you who have been invested in Anchor Protocol, something very important you need to know is that the Proposal 20 has been approved and therefore the APY is going to be changing month to month and it's going to be depending on the amount that is currently invested in the reserves of Anchor Protocol. So there could be a plus or a minus 1.5%. But as we can see in this uh, tweet from root to fi you got to follow this guy on Twitter. There's going to be, let's say, a uh, bottom right that cannot go below that 15 percent apy so that's that's good because i think a 15 percent even though it would drop to that amount 15 percent is still a very good apr that we could be earning in our stable coins so, and to be honest that dynamic apr i think is going to be healthy in the long term for anchor protocol with that said and always in DeFi daily i like to bring you this easy diagram so that strategies are easy to be understood uh, we're going to be having two versions of the strategy with stable coins. In both versions, we're going to be using Anchor Protocol and Planet. The first one is going to be a little bit easier, less steps, but in both strategies, we're going to be earning 30 to 40 percent APY. The main difference is that in strategy one, we're going to have more exposure to the Planet project. We're going to have all our stable coins invested in their borrow and lending market. And in the second strategy, we're going to be splitting the money between Anchor and Planet. So we're going to be doing a loop in which we're going to be sending funds from Planet to Anchor Protocol and then back to Planet. And the idea is that you select the one that you like the most and you can start replicating after this video. So both strategies are going to start with Anchor Protocol, where my personal strategy is to invest Luna and Ethereum as collateral in order to borrow UST. So as I've mentioned multiple times, my long term strategy is to accumulate as many Luna, as many Ethereum, as many blue chips, right, as I can. And with this strategy, I'm keeping exposure to Luna and Ethereum and I'm borrowing UST, like you can see here in step two against it using the borrow functionality in Anchor. After that, I'm going to use the Terra bridge at bridge.terra.money to transfer my UST to the Binance Smart Chain. I'm going to be depositing UST as collateral in Planet. I'm going to get a 20% APY from the supply. So they have a borrowing market as well. We're going to be borrowing UST in Planet. The cost of borrowing is going to be 12% APY. And then, guys, we're going to be doing a loop. Those UST that we borrow at a 12%, we're going to be reinvesting them as collateral. By depositing more collateral, we're going to be able to borrow more UST. And we're going to be repeating this loop once and again until we hit our borrow limit to 75 to 85% and earn an APY from 30 to 40%. And I'm going to run the maths later in this video so that you can see exactly the profit that you can make. The great thing about this strategy is that we're using both UST as collateral and we are borrowing UST. So the risk of liquidation is very low if we set our borrowing limit to 75-85%. In order to get liquidated, UST would have to seriously lose its peg. Don't take me wrong, the risk is still there, but I think it's a low risk. And guys, for this strategy, I'm going to give you a pro tip. And this pro tip in Planet is going to allow us to bring this borrow APY to actually 12%. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be supplying 
10% of your total UST collateral in gamma tokens in order to reduce the borrowing cost by 3%. I've personally decided to actually do this strategy with this 10% of exposure to the gamma token. You can decide whether you want to do it or not. And I've done it because the gamma token has had a very stable behavior in the last couple months. And I think it's worth for that a uh, reduction of 3% in the borrowing cost. And now guys, the version number two of this strategy, again, we're gonna be using stable coins, we're gonna be using UST, but in this case, instead of borrowing UST in Anchor and sending it directly to Planet, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be borrowing UST in Anchor, we're gonna be depositing UST in the Anchor Earn menu, and then we're gonna be bridging AUST from Terra to Binance Smart Chain using the portal bridge. Guys, I'm gonna leave you this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to bridge your AUST to Binance Chain using the portal. So the portal bridge is here. You're going to have to paste here the contract of the AUST token and it's going to be very straightforward to bridge your money. Once you get your money, your AUST in Planet, you're going to supply AUST in Planet. Then you're going to use AUST as collateral to borrow more UST in Planet and then we're going to be sending those UST back to Anchor using the Terra Bridge from bridge.terra.money. We're going to be depositing those UST in Anchor again, earning that 19.5% APY, and they're going to be bridging back a UST into Planet. And the idea, guys, is that we repeat this loop constantly. We're going to be repeating the supply borrow loop until our borrow limit over here hits 75 to 85%. And this is to manage our risk in order to maximize our APY to almost 40%, guys. Very similar strategy to number one, but in this case, we deposit UST in the Anchor Earn menu. Version number three, guys, it's a little bit more degen. This is for those of you who want to really maximize your exposure to Luna. You're very bullish on the price of Luna. And here, what we're going to be doing is we're also going to be depositing P Luna as collateral in Anchor Protocol. We're going to be borrowing UST in Anchor Protocol. We're going to be bridging UST from Terra to Binance Smart Chain using the bridge.terra money. We deposit UST as collateral, but here's the difference. Instead of borrowing more UST, we're going to be borrowing Luna in Planet. And guys, this is more risky because we're basically borrowing a different token than the token that we have as collateral. So if the price of Luna would dramatically go up, we could get liquidated. The cool thing about this strategy is that the cost of borrowing Luna, if we have this 10% uh, investment in Gamma, let's say, our borrowing APY is gonna be plus 1%. So Planet is actually paying us a 1% to borrow Luna, which is absolutely amazing. And then the idea is that we bridge those Luna back to Terra using portal.bridge, so the wormhole, and we're gonna be depositing B Luna again in Anchor Protocol to borrow more UST and repeat this loop once again. So it's again a loop, more risky, you get to manage your borrow limit very well, but it's a very complete strategy. Guys, watch the video again, you can go through the three strategies, you can decide the one that you like the most. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining step by step how to do the version number one of this strategy, but feel free to check out the video again and replicate the one that you like the most. And now, once we understand the diagrams of the strategy, we're going to go to do a quick review of the projects. We're going to start with Planet. I'm going to show you a little bit how the project works. You got to know that this is in the Binance ecosystem, so you need to configure your MetaMask wallet to the Binance Smart Chain. So if we go to DeFi Yama, we're going to be able to find in the Binance Smart Chain uh, this project, the project Planet. As you can see right now, Planet is position number 21st with a very steady growth in the last couple months. Here it says that the total value lock is 65 million, but this is not correct because if we go back to the website of the project, we can see that it's more than $100 million in total value lock. Planet has two key tokens. The first one is Aqua, the governance token, and then Gamma, the utility token. This second token, Gamma, to me, it's very interesting because it's the one that is going to help us boost our APRs and APYs in our strategy. And this is in Green Planet. This is their money market where they have the supply functionality and the borrow functionality. For those of you who don't know it, a money market allows you to deposit your token in the supply functionality and borrow tokens in the borrow functionality. And one of the things that is very interesting about Planet is that, I mean, of course, in some stable coins, the cost to borrow it's around 11%. But when we have this level three activated by having that 10% exposure to Gamma, we can see that in Bitcoin, in BNB, in Ethereum, we have a positive APY. That means they pay us for borrowing in Bitcoin almost 4%. 
And if we actually compare this money market with other money markets available across multiple blockchains like Aave, like Gist Finance, you name it, probably this is one of the money markets that has the most number of different cross-chain tokens. So we have AUST, like I mentioned before, we have UST, but we got Bitcoin, we got BNB, we've got USDC, I mean, we got Frax, another great stable coin, we got Luna, we got AVAX, we got ADA, we got DAI, Matic, Sol, DOT, all the big blue chips are here, guys. So the Planet team has done an amazing job integrating different coins from multiple ecosystems and making them available in their borrowing and lending market, which to me is great because it allows us to do very interesting and very cool strategies with all these tokens in the borrowing and lending functionality. We are currently in a moment of the market that all of these cross-chain projects, projects that incentivize the movement of tokens from one chain to another are actually being very successful and therefore I think Planet is doing things very very well by enabling these strategies for example with Terra with Anchor Protocol it's very very strong said that guys let's go into the strategy I'm going to show you step by step and we're going to be starting with Anchor Protocol like I mentioned here I'm depositing Biluna Ethereum as collateral in order to borrow UST so as you can see here we got the option of investing as collateral multiple tokens Luna Ethereum and AVAX that has been uh, implemented most recently. In my case, I've provided uh, Iluna and I borrowed $2,468 in exchange of that Luna that I have deposited as collateral with a very decent borrowing limit. So my the health of my position is quite positive, it's quite good, um, low risk of getting liquidated. So I think that is, that is very good. And the idea is that this UST that we borrow, we're gonna bridge them back to the Binance Smart Chain. So we're gonna be sending them from Terra to Binance you're going to select here UST and you're going to select the amount that you want to bridge, right? So these tokens, we actually got them from um, Anchor Protocol. We borrowed them from Anchor Protocol and we're going to be transferring them to our MetaMask wallet in the Binance Smart Chain. So we just copy our wallet. We paste it here in the bridge. We connect also our Terra wallet and we're going to be sending our money with this functionality. Terra bridge is very easy. Make sure that if you have any issue while performing the strategy, you can leave your comments, your questions in the video, and I'll take time to answer them and help you execute the strategy. Once the transaction has been confirmed, guys, if you cannot see your UST tokens in your MetaMask wallet, I'm going to leave here the contract of the token so that you can copy it. You can import token here in MetaMask, paste it, and you're going to have there the wrap UST token so that you can see the dollars in your MetaMask wallet. It's very easy, guys. With that, we can start to execute the strategy. We're going to be using Planet. We're going to be depositing here UST. We're going to be earning 15% APY. Then we're going to get an additional reward in the Gamma token, 5% for a total reward of 20%, which is great. It's even a little bit more than what we get paid in Anchor Protocol. So I think that is great. We're going to confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Once the transaction has been confirmed, we're going to be able to supply over here our max amount $700 that we're going to invest in this strategy right now. You click the supply button and with that guys confirming the transaction in MetaMask, we're going to be having our money invested here in the supplied side of the money market, earning 20% APY. That is step number one, guys. Now, step number two, it's borrowing our crypto, borrowing more UST for the loop. So over here, you have the option to borrow UST. We're going to click on this option and we're going to see that the current cost of borrowing is 22%. We're getting back 6% in gamma rewards, making the total or uh, yeah, the total APY almost 16%. But guys, that's not all. In this strategy, we're going to be using the gamma token in order to get a better level and therefore a discount in the cost of borrowing UST tokens. So in my case, guys, I bought $300 worth of the gamma token. In your case, in order to get to the level three, you only need to get 10% of your supplied amount, but make sure that because you're going to be doing a loop, the total supply is going to actually get higher. Here's the explanation, guys, in the Twitter of the Planet team. So it's very easy that you understand. If you have 10K UST in the supply side as collateral, you're going to need at least 1K or more in the Gamma token. And guys, let me explain you why I decided to get this exposure to token Gamma. As you know, I usually don't like to hold farming tokens, but in this case, the behavior of the Gamma token, if we go to the 90 day, for example, view of the chart, we can see that you know, the behavior of the token, even considering the big dump in the market, has been quite stable, right? It has been quite stable. So I am OK on having, you know, that 10 percent exposure to Gamma in order to boost uh, the APYs or reduce, let's say, the APR cost of my USTs. 
considering yeah the good behavior of these tokens so let's go back to the strategy like we said we got here our gamma tokens once you purchase them you can do that in the swap functionality in the planet you can buy them for example with bnb and the next step is to supply them over here in the money market we're going to first approve the contract we confirm in metamask and once it has been approved we're going to be depositing 1000 uh, gamma tokens in my case uh, we approve the transaction also in metamask and by doing this we're going to be reducing the cost of borrowing assets so we can see that here right now is level zero we have for example in AUST a negative APY but once we get into level three by depositing our gamma we can see that the APYs have improved on the borrowing side we are level three 50 percent discount on the protocol fees so right now the cost of borrowing usd went from 15 percent to 12 percent which is great three percent reduction and this is going to help us boost the total reward the total profits of our loop strategy the next step of the strategy is going to be to borrow in order to do it we need to enable the collateral so we need to enable usd as collateral you confirm the transaction in metamask and once it's enabled as collateral we're going to be able to borrow here usd you select max and then we have here a borrow limit of 90% and we can play with this borrow limit. My recommendation guys is to have a borrow limit around 80 or 75%. By doing this, what we're trying to do is reduce the risk of our position getting liquidated. And the only scenario in which this would happen is if UST loses its peg and it has to lose the peg by a big percentage. So I think the probability of that happening is very very low still guys this is not financial advice there is always a risk so you got to be very very careful with the amount that you invest here and always make sure you're monitoring this borrow limit percentage and whenever it goes above 85 percent make sure that you adjust your position in order to avoid the risk of getting liquidated in order to borrow we click here on the borrow button we're going to be borrowing for 120 dollars approximately we confirm the transaction once the transaction is submitted and approved in the blockchain we're going to have our position here as you can see the cost of borrowing this is 12 percent 12.26 percent and what we're going to be doing is we're going to do the loop so we're going to be reinvesting this 420 dollars here earning a 20 percent so we're having a net benefit of 8 percent apy every time we do this loop you click here on max you supply you confirm the transaction in metamask and we are reinvesting the amount that we actually borrowed now we have 1120 dollars here earning 20 percent apy and what we're going to do is we're going to borrow more because as you can see our borrow limit has been adjusted we click max we bring it back to 75 percent to always manage our risk confirm the transaction once the transaction is approved in the blockchain we're going to be receiving those ust in our metamask wallet and we're going to invest them again in the supplied side of the money market so as you can see right now what we're doing is that loop and in order to make it even more and more clear i'm going to show you again the diagram that we uh, review at the beginning of the of the video you can see this is what we're doing right now we are depositing ust borrowing ust in order to get our borrow limit to 75 to 85 percent to maximize our apy from 30 to 40 percent in benefit so this is what we're doing guys it is a very very strong strategy and very interesting guys because at the end with an initial amount an initial investment of 700 dollars we now have 1700 supplied on this side and we are borrowing 935 dollars all of this is generating us a total apy of about a 30 percent and with a borrow limit of 71 percent which is in my opinion still a very conservative borrow limit so i feel comfortable having it around this i could even boost it a little bit more bring it up to about 80 82 percent considering that we are borrowing and we are putting as collateral exactly the same asset as i always tell you guys this is not financial advice it's just my personal investment and here i want to show you how i run the maths to earn this 31 percent apy with an initial investment of $700. Right now in the supply side we have 1653 earning a 20% APY approximately. So we are making $333 every year. In the borrowing side we have $935 invested at a 12% APY cost. So that's costing us $113 every year. So that net benefit net yield is $220 for an initial investment of $700. So we are making that 31% APY guys. And again, I could continue looping to get my borrow limit to 85% and boosting this APY to almost 40% guys. So it's a very, very, very strong strategy. In my opinion, and looking at the overall market, I think this is one of the most 
powerful strategies using UST, using a stable coin. And at the same time, I believe Planet is a very solid project that is growing a lot. It is constantly investing to innovate the product, investing in security. I mean, as you can see, guys, the money market is super complete. We have multiple assets that we can lend and we can borrow, including Luna with that strategy that I show you at the beginning of the video where, look, we can even get paid for borrowing Luna and put it into this loop to generate amazing APYs. So Planet Finance, a very, very complete project, a project that I like very much how the things are progressing, all the things that the team is doing. I mean, their total value lock is 142 million, guys. That's a lot of money. Very big project right now in the Binance ecosystem. Last year, these guys were able to hit 500 million during the bull run. I'm sure there, if there's a new bull run this year, they're going to be able to hit a very good number in total value lock if they keep doing things so well. Overall, I think a very clean user interface, very easy to understand. You have very good and clean dashboard where you can see your investments. Like we said, two tokens, Gamma, we already explained it, utility token, but their governance token has been performing so good right now, $411, all time high. If we see the graph of the last 90 days, we can see that, wow, they just boom, skyrocket in the last two weeks. Long term, I think a very interesting project that you need to watch out closely. Couple things before wrapping up the video. One thing is the tokenomics, if you wanna check them out of Aqua and Gamma tokens over here. What is very interesting about Gamma is this mechanism they have. They use the different fees of the protocol in order to purchase again their own token Gamma and then redistribute the token as part of the rewards of the protocol. So I think very interesting tokenomics, which have definitely helped on the behavior of the token Gamma price. As you can see, very steady behavior. Usually farming tokens tend to dump, but as we can see here in the last 60, 30 days, the behavior has been very, very positive. Another cool thing is that Planet is investing in all these partnerships. They're working with Terraform Capital. And actually Terraform Capital paid for Planet uh, initial audit with Hailborn, which is amazing. I mean, all of this is because basically Planet is bringing UST into Binance Smart Chain. So that's good for the growth of UST, which is amazing. Planet also launched, right? The first money market using World Home assets on BSC. So they are innovating. They are doing things, in my opinion, in a good, in a very good way. Uh, they launched the first cross-chain lending market for AUST, as we already saw on the strategy. We explained how you can leverage that strategy. Very active ac account on Twitter. So the team is constantly interacting with the community. You can check it out over here. They're constantly posting. So I think that's very good. Guys, with this, we finalized the video of today. Thank you very much for watching it again until the end. Make sure also that you subscribe to the channel, that you hit the like button and leave your questions, leave your comments that I'll take time to answer each of them. Hit also the bell button so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching DeFi Daily until the end once again, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much and bye-bye.